What? It could work. Okay, then. Over there. So? Hmm. Before I can begin excavation, I must support the existing structure to avoid a cave-in. Normally, this would involve a piling rig working from above. But there can be no activity visible from the surface. No? So, I must construct second walls of CFA piles working completely underground. Was für eine Scheiße. Difficult. Next, I must somehow place I beams across the top of the second walls to support the floor. The machinery. Excuse me. <sighs> Only now can I fully excavate. I will need to move perhaps 1700 cubic meters of dirt. That means tracking out about 200 loads. Going this deep, we will surely hit rock, which means blasting. <laughs> uh, we need schematics of utility in the area. You'll get those. Once the space is fully cleared, I can waterproof and fabricate casts for the retaining walls and pour concrete. We would need... Uh, <laughs> About 150 cubic meters. This is just the beginning. And all this in complete secrecy. Judging from the sounds I heard, I assume we are not far from a town. This is also not um, optimal. A project like this, many, many things can go wrong. So, it's impossible? Dangerous, difficult, and very, very expensive. Not quite impossible. Gustavo Fring, es freut mich, Ihre Bekanntschaft zu machen. Werner Ziegler. Yeah. 
All right, gentlemen, we have a few things to go over here. That means you too. Kai. Over here, Kai. Es reicht. Sie zahlen euch gutes Geld, dafür hört ihr gefälligst zu. We've got four bedrooms between the two houses. I leave it to you to figure out the roommate situation. I assume you're all friends, and I don't really want to hear about it if you aren't. Working kitchen so you can cook whatever you want. The refrigerators, the cabinets are stocked with the essentials. There's a shopping list. You write down whatever you need, and we'll get it. There is a phone in each house. It goes directly to me or one of my guys. Anything you need, call. So when do the girls get here? Anything within reason. Any more questions? All right. You've got some time to relax and settle in. Work starts tomorrow night. Michael, they are all good boys. Once the work begins, they focus. I see to it. What you've done here is very impressive. <laughs> Thank you for that, Michael. All right. If you need anything to make this go better, you let me know. I will, certainly. And the cigarette trees, the soda water fountain, where the lemonade springs and the bluebird sings in that big rock candy mountain. On a summer's day in the month of May, a burly bum come a hiking down a shady lane near the sugar cane. He was looking for his liking. As he strolled along, he sung a song of a land of milk and honey, where a bum can stay for many a day, and he won't need any money. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho, the buzz of the bees and the cigarette trees, the soda water. Fountain, where the lemonade springs and the bluebird sings in that big rock candy mountain. In the big rock candy mountain, the cops have wooden legs, the bulldogs all have rubber teeth, and the hens lay soft boiled eggs. The farmer's trees are full of fruit, the barns are full of hay. I want to go where there ain't no snow, where the sleet don't fall, and the wind don't blow, in that big rock candy mountain. Oh, the buzzing of the bees and the cigarette trees, the soda water fountain. Where the lemonade springs and the bluebird sings in that big rock candy mountain. Oh, 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 oh. Because of the bees and the cigarette trees, the soda water fountain. Where the lemonade springs and the bluebird sings in that big rock candy mountain.
dich zusammen. Reiß dich zusammen, du Idiot. Versuch's nochmal. I think we're ready here, Michael. All green. We're good here. Go. Call it. On the go. Wow. I mean, it's incredible. I feel like we've been talking about this forever, and now, here it is. An architectural feat. Truly. Herculean. This is... This is... Yeah. <laughs> I can work with this. I mean, it's not exactly what... We talked about, but it has possibilities, even unfinished. Uh, ventilation at this point is the main hurdle. But with a series of fans and the right equipment, I am certain that I could do a rudimentary cook, at the very least. Not until it is ready. Oh, um, of course. We only want to do it if it's done right. I was just exploring possibilities. I am gonna go up and check the... Okay.
Oh, hello. Hold it. How's it coming? Uh, very, very well. It's a flurry of deliveries. <laughs> Feels like Christmas morning. <clears throat> ah, it's exciting. It's really coming together. And I, I would like to point out that if you have any very understandable questions about the price tag, <laughs> that sound, quality. At Pfizer, at Merck, that unit would be right at home. That goes for all of it. Good. I want you to have what you need. Oh, well, I doff my proverbial cap to you, sir. <laughs> when do you think we'll be up and running? Within a month, I'd say. Two weeks. Or 
for, yeah, two weeks. Good. Very good. By the way, uh, that sample you asked me to run, I ran it, and it is quite good. Thank you very much, Gail. You can give that to Victor to discard. Uh, sure. Is that our competition? I'm sorry? The, uh, it really is quite good. The purity, of course, I'm speaking of. Uh, speaking uh, strictly in chemical terms. And I can't, as of yet, account for the blue color. But um, if that is our competition, we have our work cut out for us, so to speak. You don't have any competition, Gail. Not as far as I'm concerned. After all, how pure can pure be? Well, it can be pretty darn pure. Mr. Fring, I can guarantee you a purity of 96%. I'm proud of that figure. It's a hard-earned figure, 96. However, this other product is 99. Maybe even a touch beyond that. I'd need an instrument called a gas chromatograph to say for sure, but um, that last 3%, it may not sound like a lot, but it is. It's tremendous. It's a tremendous gulf. Gail, for our purposes, 96% will do just fine. Please, don't let this trouble you. Yeah. It's just, I, I'd love to know who synthesized it, is all. A man who wants to work with me, a trained chemist like yourself, but it won't happen. I don't consider him a professional. If he's not, I don't know what that makes me. I'm not trying to talk myself out of With a job. With this person, there are other considerations. His is the best I've ever seen, hands down. And uh, I look at this place that you've built, the money you're investing, sparing no expense. And I know, I know that you want the best. Your new lab. Thorium oxide for a catalyst bed. <laughs> Look at the size of this reaction vessel. Oh, it's got, it's got to be 1,200 liters. Wow. Where, where, how did you know how to put this all together? I had excellent health, as were you. Quite a lot of planning went into this. I would say so. The laundry upstairs, I've owned it for years. It receives large chemical deliveries on a weekly basis, detergents and such. There is nothing suspicious about it. And my employees, to be sure, are well-trained, trustworthy. The filtration system is state-of-the-art. 
It will vent nothing but clean, odorless steam, just as a laundry does, and through the very same stacks. I need 200 pounds per week to make this economically viable. You would choose your own hours, of course. Come and go as you please. So long as the quota is met. Sorry. The answer is still no. I have made a series of very bad decisions, and I cannot make another one. Why did you make these decisions? For the good of my family. Then they weren't bad decisions. What does a man do? Walker. A man provides for his family. This costs me my family. When you have children, you always have family. They will always be your priority, your responsibility. And a man, a man provides. And he does it even when he's not appreciated or respected. He simply bears up, and he does it because he's a man.
say it already. Tell me I told you so. Get it out of your system before you need, like, dialysis or something. It's exactly like better constrained. Where were the two bodies? Over by the freight elevator. Over there. No idea who they were? No, not much left. Apparently the teeth do this popcorn thing when they get too hot. So they tell me. Whoever torched it, did it upright. Shrink, you magnificent bastard. Huh. What do you figure that was? I don't know. Some kind of lab equipment? Maybe a camera? 